I went to a, a meeting, and I, and I was a little sick, and uh, it was on a weekend, and I tried to fight it. Uh, the more I tried to fight it, the worse it got. So it was on a, a Sunday night. Uh, I, was, I was asked if I wanted to, <clears throat> to go to the hospital, and I said, yeah, I, I think I need to. I went straight into uh, an ICU unit. I can't remember how many days I was in there total. I'm going to say 27 days. I think I was in the hospital 36 days. But wow, the treatment that I had over there, it was amazing. I mean, it's just, I couldn't have no family or, or people come in and they took the place of them. One of the nurses come in and said, uh, all you have to do is breathe and we'll take care of the rest. At that time, we were all that these patients had. They didn't have family members that could come in. Um, we were their family, we were their um, caregiver, we were their, you know, we were their person. Um, so to have somebody have that spirit helped build us to keep that spirit throughout the day because it was very rough in here. <clears throat> Nothing but respect for them. They're just uh, great, great people. When I was at my lowest point, and I was, I really, I, I gave up. I really gave up. We prayed with him all the time, you know, giving him that encouragement and the talk and like, you can do this. Don't give up on yourself. There's people that are out here that you have an army behind you. This whole process that I've gone through, it's, it's new to me. I mean, it, and it's a little scary, and it was. It was presented to me that you're gonna make it. And that's all I kept hearing is you're gonna make it. They allowed my, my fiance to come in and visit me a little bit, and, and that just, that was amazing. It just, it just perked me right up. I was able to go in and, and just sit and talk with him, but I had more joy out of that than I think I ever hoped to bring to him. They uh, come in and sit in my bed at night time and talk to me. People don't know the struggle that we go through. But what's more important is we don't know the struggle that the nurses go through. And their struggle, they don't even show it. So it was amazing how they put their self aside just to take care of the patients. It just reminds me of why I've been a nurse in the first place. It, um, it just feels good. Not that I am here for the praise and the, to be appreciated, but every now and then when it's hard and there's not the good outcomes, it's nice to have the patient that's just very appreciative of everything we do. It does have a good outcome, gets to go home, and, and I like that he's still around and checking in with us. That He even had um, a get-together afterwards. He invited all the medical staff here to get with them just to celebrate him being home. Anything he needed I was there for him uh, and to see from where he started from the ICU coming out on every unit it's something that I won't forget it's something that we will never forget as a as a team. I don't have one bad thing to say about the whole process except that I was sick so I'm very grateful people I just can't say enough about the people I don't know how to I don't know how to thank them it's taking the fight out of me it's it's humble very very it's opened my eyes to to see this world in what it really the reality of of this sickness in general I see the struggle for what it is because I was there and I know what it's about reality it is reality this thing will kill you it's a struggle as respiratory therapists because you want to help people and sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do and it's hard, it's rough. But the success stories like Greg's that makes it worthwhile. My heart's still over there. He, he just would try his best to keep his spirits up, but then in return, he wasn't just thankful. It was a genuine gratefulness and a, a kindness that showed through him 
and just a love for us that just came out in every way. I'm just so grateful for the little things. I just wanted to go outside and just feel the air. It's just something so simple. They took me outside and it was drizzling rain when it, that day, I remember it. And I felt so good. And I was alive, I was alive. I, I think I was, I knew right at that point, I think I was gonna be okay. Y'all saved my life.